Hey YouTube, Bo up here, and today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to increase your light the most efficiently and the fastest and the best way to save all of your uh, powerfuls and pinnacles for the proper times to do them. Uh, I'm just going to walk you guys through it. I'm literally just going to sit here and talk to you. So if you need to get out a piece of paper, get out your notes on your computer, get out your notes on your phone, whatever you got to do. Or pause this video and come back to it at certain checkpoints because I'm gonna just walk you through the entire process what I believe is the most efficient and fastest way to do it for all three characters to get as high as you can in this first week of Europa Beyond Light DLC so to start it off number one we're gonna want to do is play your least favorite character first so Trials is coming out on Friday and you want your main to be as highlight as possible so you can actually stand a chance. So if you have screwed this up already, it's okay. Just keep doing what you're doing um, in the order of characters. The order of characters isn't as specific. Uh, the real issue is, this is Ryan just picking the Thank right you ones. Yo, Mock Machete. Thanks for the prime sub, dude. In the middle of a YouTube video. You'll love to see it. So... First step, what I did was I picked my least favorite character first. So I started with my hunter. First thing you do, obviously, is run through the story. Um, there are some powerful drops in the story, but you literally cannot avoid them. Uh, there are certain spots where if you don't pick up the powerful drop, uh, you cannot continue the mission. So what do you do? You just play the story mission. First, your, your least favorite character, play the story. As soon as you're done playing the story, you should be probably somewhere between 1100 and 1200, probably like 1140, 1150. And then what you do is you check out my video, exclamation mark light, and you go to a strike. Specifically, you can go to the Exodus crash. There's a spot where you have to kill a spider tank. You kill the spider tank, you go to the wanted area. There's a wanted shank in there. You just kill him and wipe, kill him and wipe. Kill him and wipe. You find a wanted enemy in a strike. You kill it. It'll always drop a purple at least one. Sometimes it'll drop two. Sometimes it'll drop a little purple and a blue. You'll level up and even out to 1200. Once your worst character has leveled up to 1200, then and only then can you start to do powerful drops. That's the point where you start to do things like zero of eight bounties. So you'll see on... Zavala, on Shax, on the Gunsmith, on the Drifter, even on Varix himself, you can do... <laughs> you shut your whore mouth, Hazing. Uh, literally, on Varix himself, you can do eight bounties. You do those eight bounties, you turn it in, you get the loot. Do your best not to complete the quote-unquote pinnacle ones until you've done all the powerful ones. That's obvious. Like, the last thing I have to do is the 100,000... Nightfall. Not only is that extremely hard to do, first of all, but that's going to give you the biggest jump and you need to save it after your powerfuls. So you go through and you do every powerful you can find. The moon one is bugged. Um, it shows up, but you can't actually do it, which is unfortunate. But you do all those powerfuls. Bounties across the board. Um, try not to increase your valor much until your main character. Also, that being said, in survival playlist, I have zero glory, but I've completed the powerful uh, drop from it because you have to win seven rounds in comp. So what you do is you win three rounds in a game and then you throw. I know that sounds really shitty, but you win three rounds and you throw. That way you don't gain any glory points, but you win the rounds. Once you win seven total rounds back out, and you've given a lot of people free wins, and that's okay, but you get the high level drop. So, once you do that, um, you'll probably need to hit up the wanted enemies again to keep evening out. If your stuff gets too far out of whack, uh, you will want to hit those to level up. Like, see here, my boots are 1214. Um, that's actually my lowest item. So, what I, sh what I am about to do is load up the Exodus Crash, because uh, I'm 1216, I'm about to load up Exodus Crash, shoot this guy a bunch, and get a Kinetic, an Energy, um, and a Boot. All those from him, and it'll probably even get me up to 1217. Um, so I'm literally about to do that myself. This is my second character. 
so once you've done that you can finally complete the pinnacle uh the quote unquote pinnacle drops and then your character should be basically done uh you want to make sure your weapons are as high as possible do not do the salvation's grip in my opinion the heavy grenade launcher this is a plus five don't do it unless you one need a heavy weapon desperately or two are about to go to your third character i think that that's the best time to do it um, because it's a guaranteed weapon and it'll start your third character as high as physically possible um so if it's at all possible to use this to do this at the end of your second character then that's the way that i think that you should do it okay i'm going really fast so i'm sorry but i'm just trying to get all this information out there second character Character number two, load up Europa and go through the entire story mission again. I know it sucks, but just run through the story mission and do it as fast as you can. Beat bounties on your way through um, and hold on to them. Do not turn in your powerfuls until you beat the actual, uh, until you get stasis unlocked basically. And then once you have stasis unlocked, you've gone through the whole Beyond Light campaign. Even out your character if it's not already. You can use the guns to continually even it out with more wanted farming. Hazing said in chat, you can't see it on YouTube, but Hazing said literally do any law sector that has a wanted enemy. That is another way you can do it. It's a very strong way. Personally, I think the Exodus crash way with a team of three is the fastest by far. You can kill him and wipe in about 20 seconds. So you get a drop every 20 seconds. It's just absurd. It's way faster than a lost sector. Um, so that's what you do. So your second character, you've beaten the campaign. You've leveled up or you've evened out your character. So your character should start pretty high. And now you start doing the powerfuls. You're hoping for armor whatever um and you just want to do all of your powerfuls followed by all of your pinnacles basically in the same order that you just did on your first so you do the zero of eight bounties on each of these locations you do the uh three of three strikes you do the uh 100 percent night falls then you do the power the pinnacles again um but you can do this glory as well second time um because you're on your second character and just don't win you'll still have zero glory and it'll be perfect um and then at the end of your second character that's when i suggest to complete the salvation's grip quest for this heavy grenade launcher oh we've done a lot of talking here guys <clears throat> okay so last but not least, this is where it changes a little bit. The third character. So this is your main character. I'm a Titan main, so I saved my Titan for last. Um, and what you're going to want to do is, again, beat the story. You run through the whole story, and then you beat your powerfuls. You beat your pinnacles. And then after you've done both of those, the zero of eights and the pinnacles, etc., now you can finally do pvp so i you can do pvp as in valor rank ups you can do glory rank ups but as long as you saved all of these even the gambit rank ups um actually yeah the gambit score the i believe you have vanguard score as well maybe you don't um anyway now you can finally do those things once you've done your powerfuls um and your pinnacles then i suggest doing these make sure that you keep heading back to that wanted guy if any time you need to level up or even out rather anytime you need to even out hit the wanted guy but you finally do glory and when you sprint through glory all the way to the end or as high as you can go it's going to drop you an absolute shit ton of gear and if you ever get mismatched and unbalanced take us take a step back don't spam glory if it's not helping you. It's really important to save this. It's very, very valuable. Go back to wherever, a lost sector or to the strike and even out. It's really important to even out when you can. Maybe not just for one piece of gear, but if you have one or two, especially three like I have right now, even out. Um, 
Did I farm wanted enemies on my second character to even out? I constantly even out. Anytime I have the chance. I'm about to even out right now. So there you have it. This is the biggest uh, descriptive walkthrough I can give you um, to level up. I'm going to post this on YouTube. This is literally day two of the power grind. So we kind of know what's going on. Um, and this is the, in my opinion, the best way, most efficient and fastest way to level up your three characters. Um, there you have it. You're going to be the highest light possible for trials. And it's coming out in like two days. So you better hurry. Get to grinding, folks. If not, um, once trials gets here, there will be a lot more pinnacle and powerful drops as well. Um, so that's going to throw a monkey wrench into things. You'll probably want to take all of your guns and move them back to your third character, your shittiest character, the one that you hate. You put all the new really strong guns on that one, even it out with the wanted guys, and then do trials. Second character, even it out with the wanted guys, with your even more higher new guns now, and then do trials again. So that's going to be the best way for you to do it. You'll be absolutely the highest light level you can be and getting everything done in the most effective and efficient order possible. So if you have any other suggestions, feel free to type it in chat or in the comments below on the YouTube video. Um, this is the this is stream chat right now. I'm live on Twitch. Make sure you guys check me out. Twitch.tv forward slash band underscore wipe. Give me a follow. Sub to the YouTube channel. Sub to the Twitch channel. Fuck it. We got 420 subs on the dot, which is pretty lit. LOL. Um, so yeah, make sure you come hang out, show some love, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Enemy AC on Tessia Bob!